Standing with me now, to my right, is Jerome J. Donnelly. Jerome is a scout for the Texas Rangers uh, professional baseball team. And in, in talking to Jerome before the interview, he tells me that he's probably the oldest post-33 Terramana Legion fan there is. Uh, when did you start watching Legion baseball, Mr. Donnelly? Well, I would say um, way back when the Ford Agency was uh, Mr. Hodges uh, was uh, the sponsor and our former friend, uh, Milt Elliott, the old funeral man. Uh, that was back in the, 19, in the 19, late 1940s. And then uh, 1956, as you know, our team went to Columbus and played Bentley Post. And my oldest son, Romy, who later on went to Notre Dame, played with Chucky Ellis and Gilliam and that, that bunch of boys. That, I think, was the beginning of uh, uh, the start for Ames' uh, dynasty. And uh, since then, why, the principles that he's uh, employed and the practice that he's had has been a tremendous gift to the Steubenville area for the boys who benefit not only from playing baseball, but they've learned discipline and they were also taught how to behave themselves later on in life. And there's just not, not enough that I can say how much Ames has contributed to the well-being of the boys of this uh, area and also an inspiration uh, of the fans that followed the team. Uh, uh, Mr. Donnelly, if you could capitalize in, in, uh, in just one or two words the, uh, the reason for Ange's uh, success as a coach, uh, uh, what would you say? Well, in one word, it's, it's hard to say, but I would say very definitely determination uh, to uh, aspire to uh, his goal, and the goal that he always had was that of success. And when you've got a goal and it's marked with the word success, it's got to start with determination, a lot of hard work, and confidence in the people, and the appreciation and effort that people went along and contributed toward his effort to attain his goal. Uh, you said that you had two boys uh, play for Ange. Uh, you had a boy, Jerome, and a boy, Rich. Your son, Rich, is still active in baseball. Is that not right? Uh, right. Uh, presently, Rich is um, the first base coach of the Texas Rangers. And uh, as everybody knows, Rich uh, played on the 1964 championship team, which went on to uh, win the district and lost out down in Paducah. And then my older son, Romy, Romy has a distinct uh, 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 mark of having pitched for Ange for five years, starting when he was 13 years of age. And at one time in his senior year, he had two no-hitters. And to my recollection, his record still stands for Ange as 54 and 12 over a five-year period. And I don't believe that anybody, any of the boys in this area has uh, attained uh, any ways near that, that record. And of course, with that record, he went on to Notre Dame and later on became the property of Cincinnati Reds. And of course, for his fellow, he died of Hodgkin's disease. And then later on, his younger brother took up the footsteps and had the determination to follow in the footsteps of his older brother. You must be very proud of those two boys. Could we honestly say today that you're here uh, uh, on a scouting mission? Well, every time I go to a ball field, it's on a scouting mission. But most of all, my presence here today is to be among the people to contribute to the hard work that Ange Vaccaro has put in, in his life, and in an unselfish way, he has demonstrated what one man can do for a community. Now, you've seen the complex. This is your first year of it. What do you think of it? Well, this complex that has been put up uh, and instigated by Ange and, and Tony Terramana and with the help of other people is probably as good as any of the universities in the state of Ohio. And a matter of fact, it's a lot better than some of our Class A organization uh, areas where the boys have to play ball and they don't have the facilities that this field is going to have. And I think it's going to be a privilege for the boys that come in here and play uh, the local Legion team, and I think they're going to open their eyes and I look for great things to develop, and uh, even though that there has been a sparse number of boys that went on to the major leagues from this area, I think with this kind of a complex, it only adds to the possibility that they enable them to pursue their baseball career later on.
Mr. Donnelly, thank you very much.